One of Disney's recent failures, woke liberal SJW failures, has been their live action butchering of The Little Mermaid, uh, the 1989 animated film. So they made a live action remake in which they race swapped the character. Uh, and then they, they shut down all the criticism as racist trolls. I did a video on that. But it seems that that's not the only area. Uh, and I'm kind of late to the party in covering this, but it's not the only area that they have totally butchered the film they were supposedly trying to remake. This is on uh, Deadline. It says the Little Mermaid live-action film modifies song to include, uh, sorry, to include consent, because they, they modify the the, the uh, song what was it um, "Kiss the Girl"? I think that's what the song was called to to, to basically pander to the feminist mob, to uh, as if there was some kind of like non-consensual, like advancement. Not to get too graphic or, or, or too crude, but you know, because again, the feminists, you know, the the what are they, the Me Too crowd in Hollywood, they just see. I can't say the word because YouTube will come after me, but they see that, that wicked act, and it is a wicked act. I mean, the people who do that, who violate women like that, should essentially be swinging from a rope. I do believe in the death penalty for offenders, I'll put it that way. But these people just see it in everything and have to just ruin all the classics from the 80s and 90s that allegedly have non-consensual advancements. What a bunch of, it's it just feministic ideology. Says her in Deadline, sorry, uh, yeah, Deadline, so the website's called. A live action Little Mermaid starring Halle Bailey and Jonah Harker King will have some songs updated to modern times. Songs like Kiss the Girl and Poor Unfortunate Souls have had their lyrics modified to allow consent. There are, the, there are lyric, lyrical changes in Kiss the Girl because people have gotten very sensitive about the idea that Prince Eric would in any way force himself on Ariel. Uh, Menken told Vanity Fair for an interview. There, there was no like forcing up, I mean, you listen to the song, you look at the video as well with the, the animated video about the song, there was no, it forced advancements, it was just, it was a song. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Alan Menken, who along with uh, Howard Ashman, created the soundtrack of the original animated film, worked with uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda to uh, update the lyrics for the live action adaptation. You, you mean the, 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 the cheap little fan fiction knockoff that it is. In the scene where Kiss the Girl plays, Prince Eric is encouraged to kiss Ariel, who at the moment does not have a voice anymore. Poor unfortunate souls. Also has a line that was revised where Ursula said, The men up there don't uh, don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl who gossips is, bore, uh, is a bore. Yet on land, it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. Uh, Mankin added, We have some revisions in Poor Unfortunate Souls regarding lines that might make young girls feel that they shouldn't speak out of turn, even though Ursula is clearly manipulating Ariel to give up her voice. Uh, the Little Mermaid hits theaters on May 26th and is directed by Rob Marshall uh, with a screenplay by David Maggie. Also includes cast, uh, sorry, the cast also includes Melissa McCarthy as Ursula and it, they list off a bunch of characters who, you know, the actors who play whoever and whatever. I mean, it, it's a bunch of stuff that doesn't really need to be mentioned. But essentially, they butcher this alleged remake to basically pander the woke liberal feministic, you know, blue haired, you know, weirdos on Twitter who just get offended at everything. See, this is why all the modern films suck, because they're pandering to an audience who is never satisfied. These blue-haired liberals, these screaming SJWs, who just whine and cry and moan and complain about everything they see. About the air they breathe, they get offended at, you know, somebody cutting in line, or somebody cutting a line in front of them or whatever. I mean, it's a bunch of garbage. You're never going to satisfy these people. How do we know that? It's because when the film camp comes out, the liberals are still, the liberals and the SJW, you know, basement dwellers are still mad about it. Because it's not woke enough, apparently. It's a bunch of garbage, but this is what you get when you try to pander to the people who are never satisfied. So anyway, I wanted to point that out and just laugh at this whole mess by woke liberal SJW Disney. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.